I feel an unbalance. There's a shift of balance in the world. There's too much demonicness, not enough heavenliness. So today we're going to go and sort that out also. <laughs> yeah, it looks like there's a giant chicken. More like a giant turkey on the top of my base. Guys, we're going to go get ourselves a celestial today. Welcome back though. Welcome back to our Mega Modded Survival. That's right. I'm getting sick and tired of just having demonics all the time. I think it's time we balance things out by getting a celestial. I've been kind of teasing this for a few days now. I've been wanting to go and find myself a nice old celestial Rex or a celestial Argentine of us or a celestial whatever really celestial wants to present themselves and interest me but last time we did i had to do this it kind of went well actually it did no it did it did go well until it didn't uh this guy right here our celestial ferox our last fallen dinosaur although i do feel like somebody died after these two i just can't remember who it was maybe you were the last one to die Wow, that just rubs it in even harder. The last dinosaur that we had die was indeed our one and only Celestial. But hopefully this time around, fate has different plans and we don't get the thing killed within 24 hours of taming it up. But guys, before we get too far into it, if you do enjoy the video, please go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs up. If you haven't yet done so, subscribe to the channel. And if you want to check out my merch, head over to MrMiola.com. Let's get into this thing what's gonna make today's journey a little bit easier than normal is i don't actually need to go and find the dinosaurs we're looking for no i've got a tool inside the base now to handle that for me and that's this guy just over here him with the help of the other two transmitters on the two little pillar towers of my base they're gonna locate they can locate whatever i want really but Today, they're going to be locating a celestial for me. And it looks like we've got a few varieties, including the wyvern. I think we did see this one here yesterday. Um, but it's only level 100, which is a little bit like... That's a shame. I would like something a little bit stronger. But hey, we've got to settle for a level 100. We've got to settle for a level 100. The thing is, I've really been wanting to go for a celestial rex. And luckily for us the only one in existence currently because we actually did kill one yesterday a much lower level one but the only one remaining is indeed a level 280 so we that's pretty good like that tickles my fancy especially when the max level in our world is level 300 so it's pretty close to what we're looking for um then you obviously got your uranus diet lots of dire bears apparently level 290 even there are xenosaurs i have, don't know if i've ever had one of these I'm kind of curious to see what they're like. Argentavises, there's tons of those. Only one that I'd be interested in taming up. But that kind of gets me onto something else. I really, really, really want to get a strong flyer. Like, really want to get a strong flyer. So the RG has had me tempted for a while. And knowing that there's a wyvern out there too, that kind of like tickles... Like, like I, I'm tempted to. But then the T-Rex is just like the T-Rex, yo. The T-Rex is the T-Rex. You know what I mean? It's the Celestial T-Rex. It's an exciting thing. Now, once we do get one of these, it's pretend... Like, it's possible we may be using it in the next boss battle that we're currently, I guess, preparing for. Yesterday, we finished taking down one of each of the uh, Origin Dinosaurs, which means we're pretty much ready to take on one of these two. And from memory, you want to fight the Demonic with a Celestial, I think... Oh my gosh. I just can't remember. I've died to this boss before. I just, I, yeah, I guess I gotta like think about how we're gonna do this. But if you are, uh, I think you need to fight with the opposing for like super effective damage type of thing. Um, or then you got the Celestial Nominus Rex, who I, I don't know if the Empress is better against the Emperor. I don't know which one we ever wanna go through first. But either ways, we're gonna get, wanna get one of them soon. Um, aside from that, then you've got these guys, which I think we might actually be able to fight no no you need to take down the okay so in case you're wondering what these are this is basically to summon in a spirit's wyvern i'm pretty sure i think that's how it works and then when you kill the spirit wyvern you get the thing that can tame up your own spirit wyvern or something like that but there's no point looking at that tier just yet because we are still stuck on this one here so whatever we tame up today is going to help us in these boss battles basically so i want it to be strong also have a look at all the hide i've got on my inventory right now what is with all of this why do i even have it on me um, let me just get rid of some souls in here. We got plenty of blood. Let me go and get rid of all this blood. I can't even remember what we did yesterday, where all this stuff came from and popped up into my inventory from, but it's there nonetheless. All right. So we need to make sure that we have everything that we need to get this job done today. Mostly, and most importantly, it's pretty much just going to be an arrow, a dart, or a bullet. Technically, it's a bullet that we're going to be looking for. Um, because whatever we end up going for, it's going to have... Oh, no, not a bullet. It's going to be an arrow. A metal arrow, as a matter of fact. One of these, technically. And I don't know if I want to use one of these on a Celestial Wyvern. So, oh, this is actually kind of 
This is an interesting... Like, you, you know what? I'll just blow it. We've got a little bit of blood. I may as well just craft one up. We're going to get ourselves the metal arrow. This arrow will knock out anything with a single hit. And that's, that's the whole purpose of it. That's the whole intended purpose. The only thing is it doubles the damage and the speed. So if we're knocking out something like a wyvern, it's probably going to hunt us down pretty darn quickly and kill us. RG possibly as well, which is... Ah, I think we're going to settle for the T-Rex. But then again, I do want the other one. Look, let's just... One step at a time. One step at a time. And we will... We'll, look, maybe we get both. <laughs> there might be time for a double tame. 3256, though, is where we are going to be heading. I think if I equip my spyglass, we can see at the top top hand side of the screen over there what we're... Uh... Oh, hold on a second. I need kibble. I didn't even have kibble yet. I don't even know if we can craft up kibble. Okay, you know what? Let's have a look at how much kibble we can actually get. I think we're going to need like eight. So let's try and just... Okay, cool. We can craft up eight kibble. That's good. That's a good start. Maybe we get 10 just in case. All right, we can get the extras as well. All right, so we're going to craft up, I guess, 11 of these things. And I hope it's enough because if it isn't, then... Then nah, I will be. I've never seen a Celestial in this world, at least, that needs more kibble than that. You guys might uh, because we have different rates to a lot of you guys at home. I think we have four times teaming multiplier on in this world, which means technically... If you're playing with a one-to-one -one taming multiplayer, you're going to need four times this amount of kibble, which is a lot of kibble when you think about it. So, uh, yeah, just keep that in mind, I suppose. Keep that in mind. And in fact, while we're here, can I get a Celestial T-Rex costume? Not costume. What am I talking about, man? A saddle. Can I get a... I don't even know how to get this thing. Celest... Oh, there it is. Celestial Rex. I should be able to get this. Although, yeah. Oh, Celestial Hide... You're joking. I even killed a Celestial yesterday just to get the height. So I can't actually. I need I need to kill a Celestial to get the height to do this. So maybe we'll have to go and track one of them down as well. Anyways, there we go. That's all of the kibble crafted up. 3250 something, right? And eventually, uh, I will be able to put this in my hotbar. I don't think this will work right now. And we'll be able to scan from our inventory. The only thing is, I don't think this will work right now. It won't give me the coordinates. What did I need to get that? How many do I, I need? Six. I need six. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me try something really, really quickly. Let me try something really, because this would be a handy thing to add. If I can get a, I think a generator might actually, I think a generator works here. I need, wow, I need a lot of metal. Man, I really got to go harvest. I need resources so darn bad. We might need to go get some metal today, basically. But I'm pretty sure by getting a second generator, what happens is it actually doubles up the amount that these transmitters produce, which means we can, like, remotely... We can remotely do our thing. Anyways, 32, 56. I was correct. All right, let's go and get this thing. In fact, I'm pretty sure I know exactly where it is, too. I'm pretty sure it's in the icy area, uh, where we seem to find all of the cool icy stuff. 32, 56 should be... Um... Um, oh, that's actually pretty close. I'll just go to the obelisk. This is going to be at the top of the volcano, I'm pretty sure. Or near the volcano, at least. Let's just, let's just, let's just go out and do this thing, I suppose. What's really, really exciting about this one here is this is the first time we've actually taken out our griffin for a team, I'm pretty sure. I think, I think it is at least. I can't remember doing anything, taking anything on the back of this griffin before. So, exciting times indeed. Uh, 3256 though. So it's going to be, uh, west or east? No, west. It's going to be directly west. So directly over in this direction. Also, have a look at this beautiful beast up here. That there, what is that exactly? Omega poison wyvern? That's a thing? I kind of want to, thing looks quick. I want to tame it just, just for fun. All right, I might just come back and get the omega poison wyvern. That thing just looks majestic. Um, very tempted. Very, very tempted to go and pay that one there a visit. Dude, I mean, it's not... Oh, there's another wyvern up there that kind of looked cool. Um, that's not strong by any means of the imagination, but still, I think it would be pretty cool. Oh, there he is. Hey, buddy. You're not the best looking Celestial Rex I've ever seen, but nah, actually, I'll take that back. Look how blue he is. In fact, he looks like the T-Rex from my merch. Just completely blue. Oh, now I need to get you. Now I need to get it. All right, well, we're going to get it because I've got this one arrow here with his name on it that's going to deal... Okay, we got to make sure that doesn't hit us. Okay, that's the one thing that could stop us today. Also, he just powered up, I'm pretty sure, didn't he? He is, he's powered up. Um, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, we're just going to be careful. 
Like I said, this is going to double its speed and its damage. I don't think that matters because I think if it's going to catch us, it's going to catch us. And if it's going to damage us, it's going to damage us. Kill us, whatever you want to call it. Anyways. Oh, I thought I missed it. All right, that's it. I think we've got it. We got to make sure that does not go anywhere near us. Okay, that was a very vertical hit. <laughs> oh, look at him coming for us, man. Okay, okay, okay. We're just going to stay as far out of range as we possibly can. He's already halfway asleep. Two million torpor has set in. Um, that was a really good attack had we been in the way of it. Also, Magmasaur. Maybe a Magmasaur is what we need. That'll help us out with metal, right? That's pretty much their whole game, I'm pretty sure. But there we go. He's asleep just like that. Just like that. Okay. Well, let's land it nice and carefully. Let's get the eight kibble in. I think that's eight kibble. I don't want to give him any extra. Yeah, I've got three left over. That's exactly as it should be. And I think we are done here. Just like that. <laughs> just like that. All right. I want to get him. Oh, hello. That's just an alpha T-Rex. Never mind. Um, oh, oh, it's good. Okay, buddy. It's okay. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. It's okay. Um, all right. I need to go and kill another Celestial, though, so we can actually get a saddle for you. But I want to get him home, and I want to put him, like, alongside my poster just to see exactly... I'm, I'm pretty sure that he's the exact color of the one on our new merch. I'm going to go and try that one there out. But I'm pretty sure there's a Celestial Yidiranus down here somewhere. So Yeah, there he is. There he is. 1.3 million health. All right. I, ooh, no, I can take that on. The only thing is I don't know what the Celestial Shitty Rattus attack is. Also, oh, hold on. I'm be careful here. Oh, do not land right next to it. What are you doing? Um, okay, that's the shot that I'm looking for. All right. I just want to bait an attack out of it so I can see what it actually does. I don't think I've ever tamed up one of these before, but if it has an attack similar to the T-Rex one, then we are going to have to be careful. Okay, so he did a little roar. What's he doing? There he goes. All right, it's a fire breath. But that might not be its only attack. Okay, stop trying to land next to it. This thing will one-shot us. And yes, I know, it has crossed my mind to go and get the Rex and set the Rex onto him. But what if we lose the Rex? What if my Rex isn't strong enough to take this thing on? There's just no way of knowing. So instead, I'm going to risk <laughs> risk my super rare grifficorn the mythical grifficorn against it instead um okay we got him over halfway though 550,000 remaining okay a few more hits though and we should be good all right four more i just hope we actually get the kibble out of this that's what i'm hoping for so let's see what we can do okay two more hits i think all right, we need 150 hide. Did I say kibble or hide a second ago? I don't know. All right, sometimes I just say things. But there we go. It's dealt with. Good. I was hoping my griffin wouldn't come ahead and try and, like, harvest it for me. 2,913 celestial hide. All right, we can get, like, three saddles out of that. Fantastic. All right, that's perfect. Um, I'm also very tempted to come back and get this guy here. I just can't remember how magma saws work as far as metal goes, but I'm pretty sure they're really good at smelting. My memory's not serving me great, though. All right, we'll, we'll see how we go. But now, let's just get everybody back to base. Uh, thankfully, I moved the teleporter as well. I <laughs> I realized I'd made a big mistake, and I'd kept the teleporter under the underneath our replicator. And what was happening was I teleported my dinosaurs straight into the replicator. And unfortunately, they weren't being replicated. That would have been cool, but I was just getting stuck inside of this. So teleporter's now been moved out here. I might give it a more permanent position somewhere else soon. Um, but for now, that's where it, that's where it lives. So... Let's go and craft this thing up. I can't believe we got that much hide out of that. <laughs> That's so good. Um, Celestial Rex coming right up, I think. Yeah, cool. That only requires 1,000. So we are like stacked up with the hide now, which means if we go and get ourselves an RG, um, we, we should be able to get our saddle for that too. Might just be metal ingots that we're running low on. But there he goes. He's all shadowed up. Now, like I said, I want to go and put him right next i don't know how we're gonna do that maybe i'll just maybe i'll poke his head through here <laughs> this is like the little loading bay right and i can i can just go craft up another poster this one right here i'm pretty sure uh down here okay and then where can i can i just put it where can i put it can i put it okay this isn't working out let me try that again his head just knocked me out of my base um i just want to place you here can i just place you here where can i place you it kind of, uh, uh, I just need a wall. All right. Yeah. All right. That'll do. Tell me 
that this T-Rex doesn't look exactly like this one right here. Unfortunately, it's just the eyes. It's just the eyes that are different. He's got red eyes on here, but he has, yeah, he's, he's a little bit sleepless or something. I don't know. Also, I can't zoom out. What am I doing? I'm stuck. I'm stuck like... Oh no, that's exactly how it should. I don't know what I'm. I don't know what I'm talking about. But tell me that me and my dude over here do not look like this and this guy over here. It's like a perfect match. We just got to see inside of your mouth. Give me a roar. Give me your biggest roar. That was a terrible roar. I want. I want to be able to see your. Yeah, there we go. I mean, I don't know if this one he's breathing fire. Because if this one he can breathe fire, I'm pretty much. Yeah, I'm. I'm, I'm like a cooked chicken at that point. Charcoal chicken. Charcoal miola down there. Yeah, I don't really know. But anyways, that's perfect. I love it. Let's go and see what this thing can do. I'm tempted to just throw a max experience potion into him and just, just go for it. Um, which, look, we've got four of them now. So let's just do it. Let's just load 300 levels straight into him and see what he can do. Uh, we are currently at one, uh, about 2 million health. So I guess I'll just throw a bunch of levels in. We'll get him to like five for now, I guess. We're going to crank up. I should have looked at his default damage, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter. We just load up that melee damage a ton as well. And then give him a little bit of speed bump as well. All right. What's he like speed wise? Let me just, let me just check that out first. Yeah. A little bit of extra speed would be handy. I reckon that way I can take him on long distance journeys. There we go. In fact, do we want him to have better swimming speed too? I don't know if that's really that important to be honest, which is, but yeah, it probably isn't. Um, oh yeah. Let's have a look. So... How are we looking? We got 41 levels into health. 40, 40, 33. Maybe some stamina just for fun. Uh, also, it might come in handy against the Demonic Reaper Empress. Uh, if this is what we end up using to fight that. Um, I think we go a bunch more into health because why not? Let's get him to like seven. Ooh, somebody's nibbling my toes. All right, let's see who it is. All right, 8 million health. 8 million? There we go. And then maybe some more speed. And then a lot more damage. All right, we got some piranhas. Uh, let's see what we can do. Not bad. I like that. I like that a lot. That's pretty good. I mean, it's nothing yet on our demonic caprasuchus, but we haven't even tried our, our best attack, nor are we even powered up yet. So give me a second, all right? Things are about to get funky. Uh, I'm very tempted to go all out and crank. You know what? I want to get him to like 10 million health. I feel like if we're fighting bosses on the back of this guy, we're going to need it. So there we go. 10 million health. Let's get him a little bit more speed. Um, let me just dismount real quick. We can have a look. 100, so that's 109 levels into health. 47. Let's round it up. I go 50 levels into speed. And then I'm going to crank a bunch into damage. And then we'll see what sort of damage he's dealing. Also, I should probably heal him up. Uh, I don't want to waste... Ah, I don't want to waste one of these potions, but whatever. We'll just do it. It's all I've got on me right now. All right, Piranha, go away. 140,000 damage. That's pretty good. Speed is looking much better as well. Ooh. Okay, good. I'm glad we just tripped over just then because I wanted to quickly drop down here and steal some resources. Where uh, I think we're lacking on... Why is it wood? Or stone? I think it's stone we're a little bit low on. Definitely metal. Either way, I was just going to have a quick little load up, get some more berries and cementing paste and all of that fun stuff just in case we, I don't know, need it one day. Um, the question is though, do we want more damage or do we want more speed? I'm pretty content with health. So I think I'm going to go power my guy up. I want to see what it's actually capable of. Um, let's test out on this dialo. Melee attack. That's pretty good. 210,000 damage. We've got our right click attack. I don't know what that is. Fire blast. Okay. Well, I need something stronger to like properly test that out on, I suppose. But still pretty good. Um, we've got a C attack. Is the C attack the big crazy attack? Yep. Sure is. All right. Let's have a look at what it can actually do. Other than just wipe out an entire, like, world. This is like the, the apocalypse. And do, this is literally causing the apocalypse right here. Look at that. That is so good. <laughs> just wipe out everything. Somehow these parrots have survived. And a snake. Good on you guys. I feel like they deserve the, they deserve the survival if they manage to survive that blast. But I want to test that on something strong. Like I want to get, like, a direct hit on, like, a... I don't know, like a Chaos Rex or something. I feel like that'd be pretty awesome to do. Can I actually direct hit something with this? Let me try it out. Nah, not really. Ooh, uh, maybe? I don't really know. I have no idea how much damage that dealt, but still it's pretty dumb. Ooh, wait, what in the world? Wait, what is going on? Cocooned. 
Did I just get inflicted by my own attack? Or is that something... Okay, that's weird. Is that something out here that I've completely missed? Just a stego. Are you inflicting that? Or? I got no idea. Do I have an X attack? No X or control. Okay, so that's it. Just the three attacks. And of course, the power up mode as well. So this thing is, is an absolute machine. Not only that, I'm pretty sure you can actually feed something to your T-Rex or these Celestials to then power them up or ascend them yet again and make them even stronger. We haven't even gotten close to that just yet, but we will very, very soon. Um, ooh, hold on. Let me go and... I don't know why I'm fighting a primal tech stego, but we are. Um, surviving pretty good too, but I guess he had a million health, so that's understandable. Uh, I just want some loot out of him. Need the metal. So come on, give me that metal. Give me that metal. And then I think we are... Uh, you know what? I think we're going to go for another celestial. I think it's finally time to go looking for that celestial Argentavis I've been talking so much about. So let's take the big boy back to base. And we are truly... Ooh, something fast just like zipped past us. It looked like a bad but i wonder if it was an elemental i actually don't know um oh my gosh this guy's so much bigger than our other t-rexes but we are true if we get ourselves another celestial today we are truly balancing out the forces we'll have two celestials two demonics and that is until we inevitably go and get another one speaking of which i actually haven't even checked out what demonics are currently existing in our world like i think we've got a good idea of it but we should probably still have a look also why am i so slow i feel like I feel like I'm carrying some extra baggage. I mean, I know I've got like a ton of, literally a ton of wood on me, but I doubt that's weighing me down that much. Who knows? Okay. So, yeah, why am I so slow? Something is going on with my dude. He's not running around at a normal speed. I don't know. Look, I don't know. Let's though have a look here. The Argentavis. There is a high level one out there. It's pretty close to where we just tamed up the T-Rex at 2264. You guys know the drill, really. We just need a little bit of kibble. I need an arrow, and that'll be that. And I think we're just going to go ahead and do it. Why not? We need a backup. That way, if uh, things do go wrong... Ooh, hold on a second. Oh, no. I don't have fire feathers. Or medjo berries, apparently. How do I not have medjo berries? That's pretty embarrassing, actually. Um, but that's cool, though. That's cool, because... <laughs> we can go about this another way now. We've got this thing here to help us out. So, if I do want to go ahead and find ourselves a... We got no fire dinosaurs. Wow. Okay, then. Um, that is disappointing. Fire Griffin, Fire Featherlight, Archaeops, Mega Raptor. None of them. Do I have any dark dinosaurs? Oh, we got a dark Mega Raptor. That will help us out. Or do we have a light? Um, oh, we got no light dinosaurs either. Okay, just the dark one then. Dark Mega Raptor at 3750. We need to go and kill that then. That's all there is to it. And I got to hit it with my chainsaw. 30, 3750, I just said, right? I've already forgotten. Um, do I have a any, any 3750? Uh, I think once again, we're going out to the volcano. 3750. Okay, do not forget that. So I'm going to have to kill this to get... Oh my gosh. The question is, do we use these feathers for kibble? Do I, well, do I use them at all? Also, oh my gosh, this thing is beautiful. Look at it. Okay, I can't zoom out now. There we go. There we go. Okay. And that's the other one I was looking at before. It was kind of just... Oh, it's a necrotic wyvern. I don't even know what that means, but I feel like... I kill it? I can't remember what a necrotic... Whoa, hello. Oh, no, don't fight me, dude. I want to find out what the necrotic wyvern's problem is. Um, Go away. Go away, please. I just want to kill it. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was really uninteresting. <laughs> I just killed, killed it instantly, and that's that. All right, cool. Uh, well, good to know, I suppose. Killed a necrotic. Oh, that's another one. What mod are these from? I don't know if they're Primal Fear or what. Interesting, though. Um, I've also forgotten where we're actually going to find this thing. 3250, I'm pretty sure, with the coordinates that we were heading towards. So, we need to go north. Or do we? Or do I need to go west? I think it's north. I actually have no idea where I'm going. Nope, it's west. I need to go west. Yep, that's the one. 32.50. So he should be just over here somewhere. In the normal... The same spot as always. You're joking. This is... Wait, hold on. I don't want to, like, party. I don't want to celebrate until we actually find this thing, but... This is the same place that we have killed, like... 
three Mega Raptors already. Um, 32.50. Oh, hold on. A little bit further this way. Ooh. There's a Celestial RG. Not looking for a Celestial RG just yet. 32.50. I'm looking for a, a Dark Bird. It's only a small thing. Unless I've just... I'm not... I'm not in the right spot yet. Hold on. Probably go like root... But, oh, there he is. There's a Celestial... Not looking for the RG. Although he does stand out so much that it's kind of getting me excited about him. No, we need ourselves. Was it a dark Mega Raptor? Is that what I'm looking for? Either ways, I can't see the thing. He's meant to be out here somewhere. He might just be hiding in the trees. Unless that's him. Hold on. I saw, I saw some flapping. That's definitely not him. That's an Argentavis. All right. Here's the bad part. I can't even find out without heading back to base and checking our transmitter. I can't do it from out here. So, am I really going to have to head back to base to find out? Maybe. Yeah, it's literally just Argentavis is out here. And that thing. What is that? What did I just see? An Alpha Rock Drake. Just chilling in the... I was, okay, I was going to say, something funky looks like it's over there. And that's because they're like semi-invisible, I guess. Or translucent, whatever you want to call it. But yeah, I um, didn't... Oh, there he is. <laughs> I was going to... It was the Quetzal that caught my attention, but he drew my eyes to this guy right here. I was about to give up. Um, we got a little Alpha Manega Manera down there too. But uh, there's our little buddy. So I'm just going to... I should really just tame some of these up and like breed them. But this will have to do for now. And unfortunately, sliding down a mountain, I hope nothing tries to harvest him because I need to use my chainsaw to do that. So, um, yep, that was a very failed attempt. Oh, no. Um, okay, that's cool. Hold on. Hold on. I've got this. I forgot I went and got this yesterday. Perfect. I knew that this crossbow was going to come in handy. There we go. Okay. So, chainsaw out. <laughs> Get a bunch of feathers out of it. Um, also, all right, disconnect my... Uh, I can't move. There we go. And to get a little bit of extra loot as well. Nothing that's really going to help us out, but it doesn't matter. We've got our feathers and now we can get our kibble. But I'll tell you what, I'm kind of like rethinking this whole thing now. <laughs> Do we really need an Argentavis? Or are we better off right now focusing on collecting some metal like we probably should have done a while ago, getting our metal supplies back up and running that way? We can pretty much... Well, yeah, that way I can get some more transmitters set up and, or generators or whatever it is that we need first and not be, you know, trapped to not having enough. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that. I'm going to quickly... Quickly... We're going to go get some metal, basically. I don't want to be... You're out there, buddy. Why are you roaring? What's your problem, mate? I don't want to be trapped of the fear of not having metal every time I want to go and craft something up. Oh, actually, why am I taking my... Why am I taking my RG? He's way too slow. Let me go and put him back down. In fact, I'll just drop him straight up here. I'm pretty sure my Pteranodons over there can carry an Anki. Also, I'm still running so slowly. What is up with this? I'm meant to be moving so much quicker than this. I swear of it. Well, maybe I've just got a bad memory. I don't know. But there we go. Okay, my dude here travels nice and quickly now. Hopefully, there's a nice chunk of metal up here that's like resupplied itself. So, what are you? Apex Kentray. That thing's going to attack me, isn't it? I don't know. We'll see. All right, Anki, where are you going, mate? Where are you going? Come back over here. Let's get this stuff harvested. 1,600 already. See, that's a, that's a really game changer. That's a really game changer. You get all of this smelted up and you're good. I think that what we are going to have to do finally is get ourselves an industrial furnace. I feel like that's just something I overlooked last time. We were meant to get an industrial furnace last time and I just got distracted crafting up everything but an industrial furnace. This time, I'm not going to make that mistake. It's the first thing we're going to craft up. And then we'll get ourselves some more generators. We'll get ourselves some more transmitters and all that other fun stuff. But firstly, it's going to be something that's going to actually allow us to get metal quicker. Like we should have last time. After we got the, the grinder. The grinder, of course, was like the, the first game changer of the bunch. Anyways, there we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. No longer going to be... Ooh. Oh, no, that's just a Bronto. I saw a blue dinosaur down there. I thought we had another Celestial, but no. That's an ordinary Bronto. All right. There we go. Is that enough? That's pretty good. That's another 10,000 metal. Okay, that should be enough. That's at least enough to get me a generator, as well as the furnace or forge, whatever you want to call it. So, that, that cool. Done. Finished. Hopefully, I don't need to go and collect any more metal anytime soon, but I know I'm going to. 
This is more about smelting the metal quicker, I suppose. I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Let's get these guys back to base, though. All right, there we go. So, again, running at snail pace, because apparently I'm just one with the snail now or something. Why have you stopped smelting? I guess there was nothing on you anyways. Uh, let's grab our shelves. A stack of wood. Did I pull that? Yeah, I guess I did. All right, let's grab an extra thousand. Let's grab all of the metal. I'm going to grab 5,000 and then a little bit more. And then you can have a little bit back and you can have a little bit this. And we can light you up. And then we can go ahead and go bam and bam. And we can light you up as well. And then we can go bam, bam and bam. And we can light it up too. And then we got our feathers that we just went and collected. Now we are going to need ourselves a more sustainable, I don't know, feather situation. Because as you can, well, you might have seen earlier, uh, those don't need feathers. But these do. In fact, they need a lot of feathers, 50 of each. So it's probably a good thing we didn't go crazy on the Celestial Kibble right now. Um, these here are the next bosses again. They thankfully don't need feathers. These do. I need a lot of feathers. And then this doesn't. Okay, cool. Well, that's good to know. We are going to have to start. We, we, we got to farm up some feathers, basically, which means we should probably start breeding some elementals and um, not wasting feathers. We're going to keep our feathers and stop wasting them, basically. Yes. That there is what we must do. What exactly do I need for though for this industrial forge? This is the one that I want to craft up. It requires a lot of metal. <laughs> All right, we need quite a bit. So we're, we're a ways off of getting that one there. But that's probably the next thing we're going to be crafting up. Then the generator. Then we're all going to be set. But guys, we're going to end this one right here. We've got ourselves a beautiful big blue. Oh, he's over there now. I forgot I went and parked him somewhere else. This beautiful beast right here. Straight off of the post. <laughs> I'm so excited to have this thing. It's probably my favorite Celestial. Purely based on the giant like meteor strikes that he like summons out of his face. Guys, if you did enjoy the video, please go ahead and punch that thumbs up. Make it rain those thumbs up. So if you haven't yet done so, subscribe to the channel. But most importantly, keep on smiling. Have a fantastic day. And I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.